Good evening. I remember riding my fenderless bike to La Panadería del Pueblo. Sometimes I would go alone. Sometimes I would dream. I took Abuelo by the hand. I remember Pan Dulce tasting even sweeter after confessing my sins at St. Joseph's Catholic Church. <laughs> Nothing like dulcified bread for crucified bones. And I remember standing in front of the glass displays, telling El Panadero, I'll take one of these and one of those and one of these. Unlike the cool pachuco who came in asking for pan de polvo, un regalo, y un hueso azucarado. I had not mastered the names of pan dulce. So imagine the thrill. Imagine the authority in my chavalon bones when I returned asking for dos huesos azucarados to go. <laughs> yes, I remember Pan Dulce, La Virgen de Guadalupe bordered by blue neon lights, and how the smell of canela reminded me of Abuelito's Piloncillo skin. And no, I don't live on Avocado Avenue. And I've never been in the vicinity of trees, but I must confess de vez en cuando I would rather be un vagabundo hawking velvet avocados por los barrios de las lantejas, USA. Yes, I must confess, I am an avocado aficionado. <laughs> I will vouch for any avocado. You see, avocados are not vociferous. They are content to be philosophical with window sills. Visualize two avocados. Two summer syllables ripening on a windowsill, and you visualize world peace. Pass, pass, pass. You see, avocados or not equivocados. <laughs> they are not into hate. Do not equivocate. Avocates or not into voodoo economics. They just want a place on your Mexican plate. But what must avocados think? Mexican food is chic. It's made the New York celebrity list. It's Gucci bags next to guacamole bowls. <laughs> Meanwhile, there are no revolutions on Guadalupe Street. Only the blooming rose bushes by Rudy's transmission. Thank you.